How's it going everybody? I'm Intimidation from the Yiku Ant Forums and I'm here today to explain to you how I feed my queens. And when I catch a queen and I have her in a test tube, much like this one, classic water in the back, cotton stopper and a cotton end, and the queen is residing in here. What I like to do is when I feed my queen, I either feed her a, a small insect or a, I like to I like to feed her a tray, which is a I get a tin foil. What you're gonna need is tin foil first of all. Tin foil. I don't feed her the tin foil. I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> uh, honey, as probably most of you actually already do, feed your ants, and a piece of bread. And I'll show you how to combine those in a second. Now, I've seen a lot of questions on the ant forums about how. I would go about feeding my queen, you know, it's kind of a nervous situation for a lot of people, you know, you first get your queen, you're excited, I don't want to do anything, <laughs> you know, to to backfire this situation, you know, I just caught my very first queen, I can, I can tell people on the forums, you know, oh my gosh, I just caught a queen, what should I do now, right? So, well, don't panic, you know, uh, the, the for, first and foremost thing is you don't want a lot of mold growing right away with your queen. So. What I've come up with, and actually uh, quite a few people actually use this technique on the forums, is you get a piece of tin foil and you cut it in a little square, like the size of your thumbnail, okay? And you bend it, you bend it to contour into the test tube, so it's like a half circle, okay? And then you put the, you put the breadcrumb on the tray, and you use the honey to, you squeeze a little bit of honey right on top of the breadcrumb so it soaks in. And what that does is, first of all, you have to know, you know, you have to know ant behavior, you know, when ants find something sticky or wet, they want to put dirt on it because they don't want to get trapped in it. So they automatically soak it up with dirt crumbs and whatever they have available. So that brings up my next point. In a test tube setup, there's no, there's no granules of dirt. There's no, you know, material that a queen could use to to, you know, to put on that sticky substance. So, that's why I use the bread. The bread absorbs the honey and it becomes like a deterrent. It doesn't allow ants to drown in the honey, which has happened to me before. I'll tell you right now. I've had a queen drown in honey. I've had uh, various workers. I've even had the ants put their eggs on it. Yes, I've, ever, I've even had that happen. So, you don't... If you don't want this to happen, you use a piece of bread like a sponge. And the ants can still get at it to lick it up so they don't drown. So this is, this is a technique, technique I use. Another uh, point to the way I, why I use this uh, technique is because it's not touching the glass. It's, it's, it's tin foil on the glass and you can easily slide it in and out with a pair of tweezers or whatever. And it doesn't touch the glass. So that's, also, that's why you should not put too much honey because if it does touch the glass, you'll still, you'll, I mean, because let's face it, honey, you can't get that stuff off of anything. <laughs> I mean, it, especially in a test tube, right? I mean, you, I mean, the only way you'd have to clean it is with a, you know, soap and water, and nobody wants to do that with their queen, you know, on the other side of the test tube. So that's out of the question. So yeah, be careful when you apply the honey because honey can be a little. And it can come out faster than you expect it, so just be gentle with the. With this is the kind of honey I use. It's uh, it's clover blossom. It's pure. Uh, it's from Trader Joe's. I don't know what kind. Some of you may have local brands or other brands. So, um, and I've heard that some people on the forums recommend that you use water with honey because honey is is a pure substance, and it's almost too pure for ants sometimes. So. In that case, use a little water with it to kind of thin it down. You can do that, but just make sure that it's still thick enough to soak into the breadcrumb. And there you have it. I hope I answered some of your questions. So uh, that pretty much, pretty much does it. So I'll see you guys on the forums. Um, again, my name is Intimidation, and I'm on the Yuku forums. And uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy. Uh, Mikey, who's Ants Canada on the Yiku forums, and his really cool website called AntsCanada.com, where he features many formicariums. 
uh, Outworlds. He's got starter kits and test tubes, and uh, it's a really great site. So I'd advise you guys to check it out. All right, guys, take it easy.